I'm on a date with my book boyfriend. I finally did my murder mystery bookmark and it's so cute. Let me grab her. I don't think I gained enough weight to not fit in these though, but we're gonna find out. So here are the options. I do have really bad pan lines right now. Remember when I was like, I'm totally gonna get scammed by this panda haul return. The last batch of Stanley Charm jeans I got in were not melted together. You should not be able to do that. You should not be able to do that. Welcome back to another vlog. We have, as you guys saw, two packages to go out. We have one from Etsy and one from TikTok. The Etsy order was a Night Court bookmark and a Sophie bookmark, and then the TikTok order was a Sophie bookmark. Sophie, for some reason, when I say for some reason, like she's very cute, but like she's doing well on TikTok, sh well on both of them, but like there's no video really associated with her that did super well. So I'm not exactly sure how people are finding her, but they are, and I like it. Maybe they're just Googling cherry bookmarks. That very much could be the case because like, Fruits are just popular, you know, you could probably make any bookmark out of a fruit and it would do well I have I've had peach charms for so long and I've not done anything with them yet It's just like one of those things where I have a lot of ideas and I buy my ideas and then I um, am so focused on other things I never as I say never it just takes me a long time to get to them. But speaking of long time to get to something I finally did my murder mystery bookmark and it's so cute let me grab her <laughs> okay tell me that's not the coolest bookmark for obviously true crime lovers so she has blood spattered beads the fact that i even found those it wasn't even listed as like blood spatter bead it was just it was just in like with some of the other beads i order like from that person um the company it was in that section. It was like one of the color choices was this like red spattered bead. It's blood. Um, it's so cool. The only thing, and I like the tooth, like, oh, chef's kisses. The only thing I don't love about this bookmark, and I hate saying this, is that it's heavy. Like, this is a solid dang piece of metal. This is heavy. So I think once I go through all these um, charms, I'm going to do volume two with a hopefully I can find it took me forever to find this sucker because I wanted to be like a kitchen butcher type knife um and all I could find were like daggers and while I can do a dagger yes I don't want to I want to do more of like a she was in the kitchen and murdered someone you know what I mean <laughs> no um yeah it's perfect other than the only complaint I have is it's a solid bookmark. It is heavy, but it works. I put it in a book. It works. It's not like it falls out or anything. It's just heavy. So um, be warned when you order this, like she, she a sturdy girl. I just like them a little bit lighter and for like shipping reasons, um, the heavier it is, the more expensive it is. So 
it is what it is. She's probably my favorite bookmark at the moment just because I've been so excited for it and like to see it come to life. I love her. I love her so much. So but when you're watching this, she is available. She's available in my shops. So cool, so cool. I will say that, um, and I couldn't help this, but like the golds are a tiny bit different, but I think it just adds a little bit of like pop to it, you know? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. I think that's all I wanted to update you on. I'm gonna run these to the post office because it's a Saturday and like, you know, they have very limited hours there and I want them to go out. And, um, oh, speaking of, <laughs> charms remember when I was like I'm totally gonna get scammed by this panda haul return because I was returning it to a human who lived in Texas that was not associated with the business at least from my end of what I saw yep did not get that return did not see that money back it has been two weeks now um I even sent an email to him nothing crickets <laughs> Who would have thunk? I'm just kidding. I thought so. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go on PayPal and see if there's any way I can recoup some of that money, but I'm just gonna call it a loss and never order from Panda Hall again. That is kind of the conclusion here. So, <laughs> I just wanted to give you that update. I did get a little bit scammed, so. <laughs> the point is, I got the stuff, just don't ever return your stuff because you just get nothing back. And don't ever use your credit card for them. And that's something I did not do. Like I said, I use PayPal. I always use PayPal for, especially with like places where it seems a little sus anyways, like the website does. And um, honestly, if the website doesn't even let me use PayPal, I just won't even use them. <laughs> Unless like I know them. Like if it were something like Abercrombie, like I would put my credit card info in there. Um, but like anyone else, not really. I don't like doing that. PayPal is just safer. And like they can't steal from your bank account you know so that's my update and we have a wedding to go to tonight i do not know what i'm gonna wear i have options but let me show them to you um i haven't tried them on so i just took all the dresses that could be an option out of my closet when you put them on because like i don't know what fits like i said in many videos because i complain a lot um i gained weight and so I don't think I gained enough weight to not fit in these though, but we're gonna find out. So here are the options. <laughs> this one I wore to my sister's wedding. I don't think that's gonna be an option actually. Now that I'm looking at it, like it worked for her wedding, but I think even though it's taupe, I don't love the ivory lace for a wedding. Um, that like I'm not, well originally when I bought this I was in her wedding and like sh whatever but I feel like that's just too at this stage in life um people are definitely gravitating to colors now I don't it's not a wedding dress but like you know what I mean um red red dress here probably not gonna fit but we'll see it's from Lulu I wore it to chaperone a prom um a few years ago I have, and I'll probably show this to you guys too. I have this one I wore in Hawaii. It's just a cute little um, Zara dress that has a cutout in it. It's very hot and it's like indoor outdoor wedding. So I'm not sure. I'll show you the rest on because it's really hard to show you with one hand. So we need to try this on in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna post of us and I'll see you soon. Option one, no, I'm just kidding. This, <laughs> this is my robe. I think I wore this getting ready on my wedding day. I bet the bride is wearing something similar right now. Let's try on dress one. Okay, dress one is a no, she is tight, and my mom belly is not doing well in her. Not cute. Take it off. <laughs> dress number two, honestly, if I could figure out how it freaking worked, I think I would like it, but um, the straps aren't making sense to me, and I've worn this before. So there's that. So we're going to take her off. Yes, this is Lulu's, and then the last one was Aster the Label. Dress three, this is Abercrombie. It's cute from the front, um, but I don't love it from the side. The last time I wore this, I was six months pregnant, and I definitely prefer being pregnant in it. I don't love bodycon dresses, and I just, like, this area, <laughs> it's just... I don't have boobs, and so my belly sticks out further than my boobs. It doesn't look right, and I do have really bad tan lines right now. So this not this not cute, not cute. Um, Abercrombie. <laughs> All right, this is a Goodwill find from a Los Angeles brand, 
and it's made in the USA. It's very, it was very expensive. I just feel like a middle-aged woman in it. I don't know what it is. It just, it's not, it's not it. I think we're getting rid of a lot of stuff after <laughs> this try on today. I just like, I don't know. I don't feel cute in it and I feel like I should. But depending on what we try on next, I have three options left. Um, I, I might just go as a middle-aged woman because it's not my wedding. I don't have to look that great, you know? But I do want to be comfortable. And right now I'm still uncomfortable. Okay, I almost historically wear this to weddings. Um, it did not used to be this tight though. So like we're, we're feeling a little tight in this section. Um, yeah, but out of the options so far, this is the best one, which sucks because I still don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I like the dress. I just don't like it on me right now. Feeling very um, just self-conscious of like this area and like we'll make, no, I'm not going to know anyone. So it's not going to be like anyone's going to be like, are you pregnant? But um, that's how I feel. I feel like I look like I'm 20 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I've only worn this dress once in Hawaii and I still, when I wore it then, I didn't know if I was wearing it correct and I still don't know if I'm wearing it correct. It's from Zara. I got it from TJ Maxx. Um, it has a side cut out here, but it's small and like when my arm's down, you really can't see it. Um, but the back is, oh, see, I have limited mobility with this arm because it's, it's all connected here. And so like, hi, this is as far as I can reach up. Um, but the back is completely open and so like we're still dealing with tan lines but I think we're gonna have to deal with those no matter what I think this is a cool dress though so I don't know I'm thinking between this one and then the last one and um, this has ruching which covers a tiny bit of my mama belly I don't know I'm not as self-conscious in this one just because there's like other things happening in it where it distracts from my own self <laughs> so yeah I wish uh, I wish this was real time so you could actually tell me what to wear but you're on like a, a three-week delay so I'll let you know what I end up going with okay Randy said go with the other dress um, but we're wearing this one because I just felt like the other one had too much white in it and I watch so much Charlotte Dobre on YouTube where people wear something that's like ivory or white to a wedding and then people spill like wine on them all night and like even though I mean it's clearly like gray is the main ish color I just I don't want to chance it and so we're going tropical so whatever it is what it is I just have my hair in a ponytail I have on some blue earrings that match the dress and I'm gonna wear white sandals because I don't have any nice shoes that fit my feet other than the shoes I wore to my wedding, which are just way too tall. So, here is the outfit. Tan lines included. <laughs> Good to go. So, I will see you guys in another video. Hope you enjoyed this random segment of fashion. <laughs> see ya. It is the day before Vintage in the Village. It's in Tip City, Ohio. It is going to be hot tomorrow. Hot. Emphasis. There's a heat wave going on in America. I'm sure plenty of other places. But um, yeah, we're looking at 94 degrees and very sunny, partly cloudy, hopefully more cloudy than sunny. I'm going to bring, I just bought some sun bum from TJ Maxx, <laughs> so I'm going to have that on me, face mist, um, spray body. So we're gonna, we're gonna be prepared this time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm excited. I was telling myself mainly and um, my husband that I was gonna take out a lot of sweatshirts. <laughs> I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna keep them packed. I'm gonna take them. Is it insane? Yes. But is it impossible to sell them? No. So we're gonna take them. I also, <laughs> I also did make a new sweatshirt design and I've been very silent on this because I haven't picked up the camera, quite frankly. I just was inspired, was it like four days ago, five days ago, a week ago, who knows really at this point. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna make an embroidery design. And so I made it and I sent it over to my digitizer 
and within like two hours she sent it back to me complete and so now I've just been working on my little embroidery machine. It's been months since I've used her so she has been neglected and um, we made some really cute sweatshirts so I'll show you those in a minute because I still need to I'll like to chat with you while I cut the threads and everything because they're just like I still have not cut the uh, stabilizer or anything they're fresh off the machine actually my last one is on the machine so what I'm doing at the moment is I just packed up I have a hair on my lip cannot get that off where is it so much chapstick on my lips they just anything sticks to them I just packed up a package for Lexi from TikTok I don't think I've had a TikTok order in like a day, but before that, days. But Lexi came around <laughs> and yesterday, who was it yesterday? Oh, she had the prettiest name. She was from Hawaii. Pumhana. Pumhana. How pretty is that? I wanted to um, do a video, but like I was in a rush because I wanted to go to the gym. And anyways, I didn't film it, so, so sorry. Hers was from TikTok too, so most likely she's not on my YouTube. I'm almost 100% sure she's on my YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just thought her name was the coolest. And um, just beautiful to say and write. But it was one of those names where I had to like be looking at the, um, <laughs> at the label, like back and forth, back and forth, because I did not want to spell it wrong, you know? It's just not a name that I'm used to spelling. Um, but anyways, Lexi is from California, and she bought three bookmarks. So right now... I'm gonna say this and like you're watching on YouTube it's not gonna be like this it's like you don't need to run but like TikTok is giving five dollars off um fourteen dollar and up orders regardless it's five dollars off so my bookmarks are only nine dollars right now on TikTok which is a deal um so I think that's I know that's why she ordered. I'm honestly surprised I haven't, well I haven't posted that they're on sale um, because it's TikTok and I don't know when that's going to end. Uh, so I will be shocked if I don't get maybe a couple more orders in today. I should probably do a post. Actually yes, I should do a post. I will do a post because I'm going to do that right now. Let's just make a post. I don't know what bookish beauty needs to hear this, but TikTok has my bookmarks nine dollars. I don't know what the sale is, but it is there, <laughs> and everything is five dollars off, which is pretty much a third of the price. So go get you a bookmark if you've been wanting one. Okay, I'm gonna edit this real quick. All right, um, just made a video, so we'll see if that does anything. <laughs> I will say that I, um, I don't think I mentioned she had ordered Lexi. <laughs> circling back here, um, Lexi ordered three bookmarks off TikTok Shop for the. Uh, nine dollar each bookmark <laughs> and um actually i think i think it's like on an order it's five dollars off every order so i want to say she actually only got five dollars off it was still a deal but she ordered the night court bookmark the gummy bear bookmark that no one ever buys that is so cute the purple one i uh, it's right here you can't see that um and then she bought a cat floral bookmark and so i'm actually sold out now i have one left two left i might actually restock one of them of that bookmark but that's like gonna be gone gone actually i'm not gonna restock it like online i was gonna say i have one i could still put online but i'm just gonna let it sell at the market tomorrow if it doesn't sell then i'll restock it but anywho so we're gonna ship that off once ash wakes up if he's even asleep right now what i'm doing is i still need my sweatshirts but i am this is so messy um all my stanley charms i am re chaining them because <laughs> asher my two-year-old has brought to my attention the last batch of stanley charm chains i got in were not melted together and you know what that means like this is a this is hard this chain takes me a decent amount of work to uh 
break apart. So like when I'm making them, I have to cut the chain because it comes in one long chain. And um, you want that because you want it to be something you can't break. Asher, my sweet little toddler boy, um, he's strong, but he should not be strong enough to break a chain. And that's how I realized they were not like welded together. They, <laughs> watch, I'm, you should not be able to do that. You should not be able to do that. So we are rechaining all of them. If you are someone that has purchased one of these and yours uh, is one that is just like that and it broke on you, please, please message me. I will happily send you a brand new chain for free, of course, um, with the um, lobster hooks too. So if you're one of probably 15 people that bought one of those. Um, I don't have access to people's uh, shipping information after the fact, or I would just go ahead and send them. So just uh, message me and I will get that to you. Um, it's probably best if you like message me on Instagram or TikTok. That way I can see it. Just leave a comment being like, hey, I'm messaging you on Instagram or TikTok, and then I'll go over and like make sure I get that. Um, I just need your shipping address, and that's all, and I will get that to you. So, um, yeah, that's that's messy. No one said anything, but I know for sure the fact that like I'm taking all these off and I am able to do that, there's no way that like someone's gonna put their cup in a cup holder and like it's gonna get stuck in there, like as they're ripping it out. Like, I feel like people are gonna have broken chains, you know? So sorry if you're someone that bought that. Um, and if you're someone that has had a broken chain, I feel like people are too nice and that's probably why they haven't reached out. But um, just know I'm aware of it now and I'm recalling it. So hey, if you can help me, um, help you, that would be lovely. Because these new chains, <laughs> I can't do, I cannot do that. <laughs> much better quality. So we're switching all of them because I do not want a single person buying one of these. Um, and then after we do this, I just need to do the sweatshirt cutting and then I just need to pack it and then we need to load up Randy's truck. So that is all. Oof. I'm also really upset um, that I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I bought some PJs. This is like a reoccurring theme. So I'm always buying PJs and always returning them. I bought, okay, this, so normally I would say I'm a medium. Um, pretty, pretty solid medium here. <laughs> um, but PJs, I like to be loose. Uh, I don't want them to be tight. Not into that. I want them just like really comfy. Um, and so I'm like, mm, I'm going to get a large because there's no way that this is going to go wrong. And I am... Yeah, feeling like I'm already feeling bigger than I want to be and I cannot fit into the size large that I bought a large a large of what is already looks to be oversized PJs not fitting my my hips and so I need to return them they're very cute they're very I'm just done TJ Maxx I am done actually all pages. Is that me? Am I the problem? I think I might be the problem here. Um, I'll show them to you. Just light cotton, airy blue stripes. You're like prisoner blue. Um, it's so, so cute. Um, <laughs> They don't even look like they're gonna be small on me, but they <laughs> put them on. And, and when I tell you that they were stretched to the max in my legs and my hips, um, it was not a cute look. It was not a cute look. It definitely was not comfy. And I was like, I don't know, like, should I go get an XL? Like, am I at that point where <laughs> I just, I'm a. S <clears throat> Size should not matter, but I don't feel like I should be an XL, you know? Like, the pro the PJs are the problem, it's not me. I'm fine going into a large, but on it's like insulting to anyone if I'm considered an XL, you know what I mean? 
I feel like I'm pretty average. <laughs> I'm not saying XLs aren't average, but I'm just saying if I'm an XL, it just makes me angry. But anyways, <laughs> so tomorrow we have a very early rise. I have to be there by 7.30 and it's going to take me about 40 minutes to get there. Um, and then I'm going to get, so I know I said I'm going to ban Starbucks, but we all know I am dramatic here. Um, I'm not banning it, but I am sort of, but show days I'm not. So when it's show day, it's Starbucks day. Um, so yeah, we're going to get up in time to go to Starbuckaroonies. And then we'll get on the road. I need to remember, I still haven't charged my square or my camera battery or oh, the fan battery. That's important. That is very important. There's something else I feel like I'm missing that I need to charge. I don't know. I don't know, but cute little mushroom. I haven't listed him. It's a Stanley Charm design. Actually, I haven't even listed. I have a, you know, actually, I have so many products and only like half of them are listed. <laughs> like this Stanley Charm. So it's a precious little girl. All right, I'm going to just like hurry up and do this. I'll come back when I'm doing my sweatshirts. We all have a moment of silence for the fact that I was just complaining about not being an extra large and I just broke one that's the screws off of my chair. <laughs> oh, that's bad timing, bad timing for my self-esteem here. Um, I just got all of my charms re beaded now, re-chained. That took a long time. Well, let me tell you, my back is aching from just like hunching over. This chair sucks. If you can't tell by the fact that the screw just broke and um, it's the second screw that has broken. I think there's actually only one screw left that has not been ripped out. Um, very uncomfy, very uncomfy. So, um, P.S. I don't know if I've no, I have. I've sold a couple of these. I was going to say, I don't know if I've sold a single gummy bear charm. I'm still trying. I don't have these listed, but like for the little ones, I thought the kids would love them. And I will say the only ones I have sold were for kids, so, so. I also redesigned my strawberry because I have peach ones now, and they're just a little bit, uh, shorter which I think is a good thing because the other ones were like literally right at the bottom almost touching but not they're a little too long if I had to pick a favorite <laughs> I think it's still this no I was gonna say the star but I think I'm gonna actually change my mind and go with the one that's not listed the little flower she's a cutie she's a cute cute thing I had a Stanley Charm that said Brittany, and I did not know where that is. Okay, um, bye. song you can do it put your back into it i can do it no i don't know what that is ready 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 <laughs> uh, i'm on a date with my book boyfriend <laughs> is this not the cutest little reading sweatshirt ever <laughs> i had my digitizer karen do it i will leave her below i do not gatekeep on that kind of stuff because i mean like you you have to design something and then she'll digitize it for you for a fee. But 
what like I, there's no reason in keeping that secret she's great she gets it done so quickly um if you don't know what that means it's just like you design something you give it to if you do embroidery you give it to a digitizer if you don't have your own digitizing software which is very expensive very expensive and it's like you have to learn how to use it too and so i just pay someone to give me the file if that makes sense and then i put the file onto my embroidery machine and that's how it knows what to embroider and like the stitches the count the um jumps but everything it your machine's very smart um but yeah i use a digitizer to make my designs come to life and it did i love it so much so much I'm so excited for it. So I'm bringing it to the 94 degree market tomorrow. See how they do. This will be live on my TikTok and Etsy um, by the time you're watching this though. At this very moment, it is not on there. Um, all right, I'm gonna head out because my battery is dying and I will see you guys in the next market vlog, which will be in the next week. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Love you so much, goodbye.